Hey guys, it's Corey today. Uh, I just wanted to reach out and talk to you about a couple of things that I thought was important to understand. So many of us, for all of our lives, we've been taught about saving money up and, and working towards building retirement plans. Now, let's talk a little bit about that for a second. First, you need to understand what a retirement plan is and what the advantages and disadvantages might be of a retirement account. Let's start off with the one that most people know about. Let's say your 401k plan. Most people are investing money into their 401k plan because their job allows them to put something away. And typically, most companies will allow you to have what's called a company match, where the company will put money aside, set aside for you to match whatever you contribute to your retirement plan. Now, that sounds pretty good. It's free money. It's coming from somebody else other than yourself. And I think that's a pretty cool thing, right? It's definitely a great way to start accumulating money and having someone else help you leverage and build money. But if you're asking yourself this simple question, do I believe that taxes will go up or go down in the future? That really should be your driving point on what type of vehicle you're using to be able to help accumulate your taxes and accumulate your nest egg for retirement. Let me explain what I mean by that. So if we've been taught that going into your 401k plan, you need to put money away after tax, right? So that it comes out of your paycheck, you haven't paid any taxes on it yet, and then sometime in the future, you'll pay those taxes right? Well, while that money is accumulating, you're building that nest egg up and your assets are getting pretty big. And all of a sudden you've amassed maybe a million dollars in your 401k plan. So my question I ask you is this, is that truly a million dollars? Is it truly a million dollars that you accumulated? Now, yes, on your statement, it says a million dollars. But the one thing we got to think about is when I start to take that money out of that account, what do I have to do? I have to pay taxes, guys. So that's really important to understand. And if you ask yourself the question, do I believe taxes will go up or come down? That is really gonna determine what type of vehicle you wanna take advantage of. So in your 401k plan, if you believe taxes are gonna probably go up in the future, right? Then what you're basically saying is that when I start to distribute my money out of my plan and take it out when I need it the most, I'm probably gonna be paying more taxes because I believe that taxes are gonna go up in the future. Now, that's probably not a pretty cool thing, right? Because at the end of the day, your whole reason for doing this, because you were thinking in your mind that you're going to be in a lower tax bracket. That's part of the reason why you started investing in this, right? Well, you just said yourself, you believe the taxes are going up in the future. You don't want to live on less, which means you want to live on it just as much as you have, if not more. Then if that's the case, when you start to take that distribution out of that 401k plan or that retirement plan, guess what? You're paying more in taxes because taxes went up in the future because that's what you believe, right? So it's kind of counterproductive to be paying into your 401k plan if you believe that taxes are going up. What may make more sense is start paying your taxes now, right, while you're contributing to the plan. And many of you guys have access to Roth IRAs and 401k Roth, right, which allows you to take and pay the money, pay your taxes up front, and then let the remaining money go into the actual retirement plan. So that way, when you start to take the funds out, all your taxes have already been paid. So if you believe that taxes are going up in the future, that is probably a better fit for you because now what you're basically saying is that as I take those distributions out in the future, guess what? I pay no more taxes because I've allowed myself to grow those assets after tax dollars and therefore I'm not having to pay any more taxes for the future. So again, when it comes to your retirement vehicle, I always get this question for you. Is it better to pay my taxes now or pay my taxes in the future? Here's the thing. Everyone's situation is gonna be always different, right? There's all these different things that come into effect when it comes to planning for your retirement. So you wanna make sure that wherever these funds are coming from, you've thought about the tax liabilities and how you're gonna pay those taxes in the future so you truly know how much income is coming into your household. This is a big part of the retirement game. There's more to it than just saving the money up and hoping sometime in the future, you're gonna be able to take that money out. So once again, when you're thinking about getting ready for retirement, understanding the vehicle that you're in is gonna make all the difference in the world to know how much money you have in retirement. Okay guys, this is Corey Chapman, personal finance coach. Please subscribe below if you like what you're hearing. Please push people out there, let them hear a little bit about what we're talking about. And oh, by the way, if you have comments and questions that you wanna know more about, please jot it down at the bottom and I'll get back to you and I'll respond accordingly. You guys be well and blessed. Talk to you guys later, bye-bye.